though, tomorrow is opening day and the MLB season is about to kick off. So in this video, we are going to find out who is going to win the World Series for the 2022 MLB season, according to MLB The Show 22. In the comments down below, let me know who do you think is going to win the World Series in real life. And if you're excited for this one, do me a favor, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button if you're new. I would greatly appreciate it, but hope you all enjoy the video. Let's get it. Minica, watch me on Twitch. Ooh, I'm streaming. I'm on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel. Red button beaming. Let's get that sub. Can't take over YouTube. Ooh, we teaming. My content so high. Ooh, yeah, I'm steaming. Ooh, yeah, I'm steaming. Red button beaming. So it is opening day in MLB The Show 22 today. Today we find out who is going to win the World Series Championship for the 2022 MLB season. So what we're going to be doing, obviously we're going to be simulating the entire season. After the season, we're going to go over who won every single award, MVP, Cy Young, stuff like that. We're going to stop halfway through as well. Check out who made the All-Star team. But before we get into the simulation, I do want to check out the rosters for every team. We're not going to go super in-depth. I made a video on that already. So we're just going to quickly skim every single team, take a look at their best players. But but I do want to note, though, they do have the original start date for the season on MLB The Show 22. So that's why it's starting on March 31st. Don't pay attention to that. In real life, obviously, it's going to start on April 7th. But not much I could do about that. So let's take a look here at the rosters. Baltimore Orioles. Don't know if they're going to be a great team this year. Probably fifth place in the AL East with Cedric Mullins, Austin Hayes, John Means, and Mount Castle for the Boston Red Sox. Newly acquired Trevor Storer, who I think is too highly overall rated in this game. I think Correa is only like an 89. I think he's better than Trevor Story. And him being a 94 seems a little too high. Chris Sale is going to be injured, so he's going to be a 93. Uh, JD Martinez, 87. Devers, 87 or 86. And then Eovaldi, 85. Then we have the Yankees, and the AL East is going to be an absolute slugfest. Four great teams in this division that legitimately could finish as the number one team in the AL East. And we do have my Yankees here. Well, I don't think they're going to win the division. I hope at least second place, but I'm thinking more third place for the Yankees here. But we have Judge, 96. Garrett Cole, 92. Gallo's going to be an 89. Wow, he's highly rated. John Carlos Stan, 87. Donaldson, 85. Chapman, 82. Chad Green, 82. Then we have the Tampa Bay Rays. We have Brandon Lau, Arosa Reina. Tyler Glasnow going to be injured. He's not going to be playing. Nick Anderson, Mike Zanino, Corey Kluber, Kevin Kiermaier, and Wander Franco. Hopefully taking a bigger step up this year at only 21 years of age he can be a breakout superstar shortstop by the end of this year maybe like a 90 overall player then we have Vladimir Guerrero Jr. who is going to be the best player on the Toronto Blue Jays Kevin Galsman Bo Bichette Matt Chapman Gurriel Alex Manoa or Alec Manoa I always say Alex Teoscar Hernandez Jose Berrios I think this is the team to beat in the AL East I hope my Yankees can beat them but Vlad is so good I love watching Vlad play then we have the White Sox we have Grandal Liam Hendricks Robert Jose Abreu Lance Lynn definitely the favorite in the AL Center Central Guardians still have Jose Ramirez. People thought he might get traded, but he's still here. 94 overall. Shane Bieber, we're going to see how elite Shane Bieber is. He was injured a little bit last year, and people forgot about Shane Bieber. I think he's going to have a really good season. Class A in the bullpen. They have Aaron Savali, Karnacek, and they have Cal Quantrill. Then we have the Detroit Tigers with newly acquired Javier Baez. They're a few years away. The Tigers, I don't think they're going to make that much noise in the AL Central. Maybe a fourth place team. Maybe they get lucky and finish in third place because I do think the Royals are probably going to finish in last place. They are going to have Bobby Witt Jr. though for opening day. Salvador Perez, Zach Granke comes back, and Adalberto Mondesi. Excited to see what they do with Bobby Witt Jr. And I know he's getting a Diamond Dynasty card on Friday. I'll be using that card in a debut video for you all. That'll be out on the channel. Then we have the Twins with Buxton, Taylor Rogers. Newly acquired Carlos Correa, only 87 overall. Jorge Polanco, they're probably going to be like a second place, third place team in the AL Central. Then we have the Astros, no more Correa, 92 overall. Altuve, Alvarez, Ryan Presley, Verlander, Alex Bregman. Then we have the Angels, and I am excited to watch Trout and Otani, hopefully for a full healthy season. We are going to have to see, but it's going to be super exciting. I hope the Angels make the playoffs, honestly. I would just love to see Trout in the playoffs. Haven't seen it in a while. Randone, hopefully he stays healthy. They have Rizel in the bullpen. Noah Syndergaard, we'll see if he has a bounce back season. Then we have the Oakland A's. I feel bad for A's fans. They traded everybody that was good on that team, and I really don't know why. The Mariners, I'm excited to watch. Robbie Ray, Jesse Winker, Diego Castillo, Adam Frazier, Mitch Hanniger, Texas Rangers. They get Samian and Corey Seager in free agency. Adolis Garcia and Mitch Garver. So that's the AL. Now we have the NL, and I don't think Acuna is going to be on the opening day roster. Let me know in the comments down below if I'm wrong about that, but I don't think he's ready to go. He should be back sooner rather than later, though. Ozzie Albies, Matt Olson. I think he's going to replace Freddie Freeman pretty well. Matt Olson, a great first base. 
base and probably top three in the game right now. Another lefty bat. He could do a lot of the things that Freddie Freeman did well. Matt Olson can do them too. Charlie Morton, Max Freed, Kirby Yates, Colin McHugh. I think this team is destined for a repeat. I think they have a really good chance at it. I think they're going to be seeing the Dodgers in the playoffs in the NLCS. That's my prediction. And I'm going to say the Braves win it in a little bit of an upset and they go to the World Series. Then we have the Marlins. We have Sandy Alcantara, Jazz Chisholm, Abisail Garcia, Trevor Rogers, Jacob Stolens, Pablo Lopez. Then we have the New York Mets. Unfortunately, DeGrom is now injured. He will not be starting the season with the team. He'll be back in a few months. Max Scherzer, Starling Marte, Pete Alonso, Lindor. I think he's going to have a great season. Chris Bassett, Eduardo Escobar, Edwin Diaz, Mark Canna. The Mets definitely got better in the offseason, but losing DeGrom obviously hurts. I still think they could be a second place team in the NL East. It's going to be them or the Phillies who have great offense, not too much defense here. Bryce Harper, Zach Wheeler, JT Riamuto, Aaron Nola, Gene Segura, Nick Castellanos, Ranger Swords, Kyle Schwarber. This offense is going to be absolutely stacked. And the starting pitching is pretty solid as well. I feel like their defense might make their starting pitching look not as good as it actually is. And the Nationals are pretty much the Juan Soto show. They're a few years away from being competitive. They have to get younger players to play around Juan Soto and build this team around him. Strasburg is still going to be there. They do sign Nelson Cruz, who will be DHing for them. And Cesar Hernandez and Josh Bell. Then we have the NL Central. We have the Cubs. Don't think they're going to be great. They should be at the bottom of the division. But you never know with the Cubs. Maybe they make a run. Wilson Contreras, Nico Herner. I'm sorry for mispronouncing. Let me know in the comments down below. Jan Gomes, Marcus Stroman, Patrick Wisdom, Kyle Hendricks. Now, Seiya Suzuki is not in the game until he plays one actual MLB game. Then I believe he should be in the first roster update for MLB The Show. But obviously, he is going to be on the team opening day for the Chicago Cubs. Reds, they're probably going to be in last place in the division, kind of like the A's. They got rid of every single good player that they had for the most part, except India and Joey Votto. Then we have the Brewers. It's going to be between them and the St. Louis Cardinals for the division here in the NL Central. Corbin Burns, Woodruff, and Freddie Peralta. Elite starting pitching. Great bullpen is two with Devin Williams and Josh Hader. Hopefully, the hitting can hold up. Score some runs for these guys because they are going to pitch extremely well. So it's going to be dependent on their offense how far the Brewers can actually go this year. Then the Pirates. The NL Central at the bottom here is definitely stacked at the top with the Cardinals and the Brewers. Then third place is pretty much open. I don't know. Who will finish last? Will it be the Pirates? Will it be the Reds? Will it be the Cubs? I really don't know. Who is going to compete for last place in the NL Central? Hopefully they don't trade Brian Reynolds though. The Pittsburgh Pirates. Then we have the Cardinals with Arenado, Tyler O'Neill, Tommy Edmond. I always pronounce Gallagher goes his name wrong, so I'm not even going to try it. Paul Goldschmidt, Flaherty, Adam Wainwright, and Yadier Molina. Still there. How old is Yadier Molina? 39 years of age and Wainwright 40 years of age. That is crazy. Then we finish things off with the NL West. It's going to be Marte for the Diamondbacks. That's pretty much the only bright spot for them right now. Then we have the Rockies who are interesting because they didn't re-sign Story. They traded Arenado a couple years ago. Now they signed Chris Bryant to a huge contract. Very interesting. And then Ryan McMahon they signed to an extension. CJ Crone, Garrett Hampson. I don't know who's going to finish it left. It's either going to be the Diamondbacks or the Rockies. I would probably say the Diamondbacks probably finish in last and the Rockies finish in fourth place. Then we have the Dodgers definitely the favorite to win the World Series I do think the Braves can beat them in the NLCS though but this team top to bottom is the best team in the league they are the favorite to win the World Series we have Trey Turner Freddie Freeman Kershaw Mookie Betts Walker Bueller Max Muncy Will Smith Julio Urias that is seven or eight 90 overalls on this team an absolute all-star team and we didn't even talk about Chris Taylor Blake Trinan Justin Turner Bellinger will he bounce back I don't know about it. I hope he does because I would love to see Bellinger back at his MVP level but I don't know if he's gonna do it Tony Gonsolin, Danny Duffy, Craig Campbell, and Dustin May. We didn't even talk about those guys. This team is absolutely elite. Talent, top to bottom, in every single aspect of the game. Then the Padres, I would say, is probably going to be the second team in the NL West. But without Tatis, I don't know. It's going to be close between them and the Giants. I do think the Dodgers are obviously going to win the division. So Machado, Tatis is going to be out for a little bit. Cronenworth, Clevenger, Yu Darvish, Joe Musgrove, Blake Snell. They have good pieces. It's going to be between them and the Giants for second place. In the comments down below, let me know in some of these tough divisions. Divisions. Who's going to win them? Who's going to come in second place? Who's going to finish in last place, for example, in the NL Central? But let's finish things off with the Giants here. Rodon, Logan Webb, Tyler Rogers, Brandon Belt, Brandon Crawford, Evan Longoria, and Alex Wood. Now that we are done with the rosters, we are going to simulate month by month here for the most part. Check out the standings every single month. See who's in first place. Who's in last place? We're going to check out the All-Star break, like I said. Who made the All-Star teams? Then we get into the postseason. We simulate straight through the World Series. See who wins it. We check out the awards at the end gloves, silver slugger, Cy Young, MVP, all that good stuff. So I'll see you guys at the end of month number one. So here are the standings for the American League East. We'll start it off with Blue Jays 22 and 7 at the top of the division. Orioles in last place at 10 and 18. AL Central, White Sox at 17 and 11. 
Tigers at 9 and 20. American League West, it is going to be the Angels who are in first place right now. Trout and Otani must be putting on a show. 18 and 11, Athletics 7 and 22. American League Wildcard Yankees and Mariners have the spots right now. And the Worlds, I forget there's an extra team in the playoffs this year. So that's different. They implemented that, obviously, into MLB The Show 22. So there is an extra playoff spot this year up for grabs. So the playoffs are going to get interesting. NL East, we have the Phillies in first place. Nationals and Mets are in second and third place, respectively. And the Braves are in last place. The reigning defending World Series champions. Then we have the National League Central, 18 and 10 for the Cardinals. Pirates are 9 and 20. And the National League West, Dodgers are 19 and 9. And the Rockies are 11 and 17. Two months into the season now, Blue Jays lead the American League East, 36 and 19. Orioles in last place. In the AL Central, right now we have a tie because of the win-loss percentage here. White Sox are 32 and 23. Twins are 33 and 24. And they're both tied right now for first place in the AL Central. And the Tigers are in last place. American League West, Angels still in first place. Athletics still in last place. Then we're going to go to the National League East. The Mets take first place. Maybe DeGrom came back at this point. I don't know what happened in the game. We will have to see. In the NL Central, the Cardinals are 31 and 25. Pirates are 17 and 39. National League West, the Padres are 38 and 18. Wow. So they're in first place here in the National League West. But the Dodgers are still very good at 36 and 20. And the Diamondbacks are 26 and 31. So we are at the All-Star break now. And before we get into the All-Star selections, we are going to check out who's in the lead of all the divisions. So the AL East, Yankees in the lead right now, 59 and 40. Orioles, 39 and 60. AL Central's Guardians, a little bit of a shocker here, 54 and 44 in first place. Tigers in last. AL West, it is still the Angels in first place. They might hold on to this the entire year. Athletics in last place. Then we have the National League East. Mets still in first place. Phillies in last. NL Central, it's the Brewers in first place with the Pirates in last. And the National League West, it is the Dodgers again in first place and the Rockies in last place. But now let's take a look at the All-Star team real quick. Let's see who made the All-Star team. So for the American League starting pitchers, we have Otani, Yarbrough, Shane Bieber, Frankie Montes, and Marco Gonzalez. For relief pitchers, we have Jonathan Lewizica. For closing pitchers, we have Taylor Rogers, Kit Ridge, Rizel Iglesias, Emmanuel Class A, Hendricks, and Jordan Romano. For the catchers, we have Perez, Grandal, and Vasquez. For first base, we have Vlad Jr., Rizzo, Torkelson. Second base, Semyon and Altuve. Third base, it is Bregman, Donaldson, and Devers. Shortstop, it is David Fletcher. That is interesting. And Bo Bichette. Left field, we have Stan Rosa Reina and Meadows. Center field, we have Cedric Mullins. And right field, we have Judge, Merrifield, and Fran Mill Reyes. Now let's go. Why did I back out? Now let's go to the National League. We have Scherzer, Walker Bueller, Corbin Burns, Adam Wainwright, Madison Baumgartner. At 40 years of age, Wainwright is going to make the All-Star team. Very interesting. Relief pitcher it is Denilson Lamette. Let me know in the comments down below if I mispronounced his name. I feel like I might have. For closing pitcher, it is Mark Melicone, Dylan Floro, Josh Hader, Kenley Jansen, Galagos, who I never get right anyway, and Pierce Johnson. Interesting. For the catcher position, we have Will Smith, Jan Gomes, and JT Riamuto. First base, it is Freddie Freeman, Alonzo, and Joey Votto. Second base, it is Cronenworth and Wilmer Flores. Third base, it is Arenado and Ryan McMahon. Shortstop, it is Tatis, Trey Turner, and O'Neill Cruz. Left field, it is Dickerson, Tyler O'Neill, and Verdugo. Center field, it's going to be Acuna. Right field is going to be Soto, Mookie Betts, and Nelson Cruz. Right field in the National League is pretty stacked. Surprise, we're not seeing Harper on this, but that is going to do it for the All-Star teams. Let's go to the next part of the season. We are now in September baseball. We have the AL East, 85 and 50. The Blue Jays lead. Yankees dropped off 70 and 65. Red Sox now in last place, though 56 and 80. What happened to Boston this year? AL Central, it's the Guardians in first place. American League West, it's still the Angels in first, but now the Astros have tied them. Still the Athletics in last place for the wild card. We have the Rays, Angels, Astros right now competing for the AL wild card spots in the National League East. The Mets are in first place. Central, it's the Brewers, and the West, it is going to be the Dodgers with the Rockies in last place. And the wild card right now, it is the Padres and the Giants who hold the wild card. Spot. So here are your final standings for the 2022 MLB season. And I had thought that MLB The Show 22 updated the playoff format to fit in 12 teams, but they only have 10. I guess they didn't update it. They didn't have enough time. I'm not sure exactly what happened. So we're only going to have 10 teams in the playoffs here. So just take that into account. So the Blue Jays win the American League East. Best record in the American League here. They're going to get in. The Central, it's going to be the White Sox and the Guardians that are going to get in. The White Sox win the division. The Guardians get the wild card. American League West, the Astros wind up winning up the 
Angels will be in the wild card game, so they will see the postseason for the first time in a while. In the National League, the Mets get the division. In the NL Central, the Cardinals win that division. Brewers don't even make the playoffs. And the National League West, the Dodgers win the division. Best record in the National League West. And then the Padres and the Giants get in in the wild card game. So your matchups are as followed. It is White Sox, Astros, and the ALDS. It is Guardians, Angels, and the wild card game. Winner of that will face the Blue Jays in the ALDS. In the National League side of things, we have the Cardinals up against the Mets in the NLDS. And then it's going to be Giants versus Padres in the wild card game. And the winner will get the Dodgers. But now it is playoff time. And we are going to go ahead here and I'm going to switch to a playoff team. Let's go to the Blue Jays don't have a game. Let's go to the wild card teams. So let's start things off with the Angels. We are going to simulate to the 6th of October. At that point, both wild card games should be done and the Angels are going to move on in the playoffs. They are going to the ALDS. Trout and Otani barely get the win, but they get in to face the Blue Jays and we have the Giants that go ahead in the National League and they are going to beat the Padres in the wild card game over there. And also, one game was played in the National League side of things in the NLDS. So the Dodgers lead 1-0 over the Giants and the Cardinals lead 1-0 over the New York Mets. So now we'll try to take it day by day and see what happens. Let's go back to, let's go to the Angels here. So let's go day by day and see what the matchups look like. So let's go to the seventh. Okay, so the Angels win. So they're 1-0 in the series. White Sox are 1-0 against the Astros. It is 1-1 Cardinals versus Mets. And it is 2-0 Dodgers over Giants. Let's go the next day. I can't stand. I have to keep switching here. I have to keep switching. All right, let's go Blue Jays. Blue Jays lose both at home. So Angels are 2-0. Astros, White Sox are tied 1-1, and the Cardinals and the Mets are tied 1-1. Dodgers haven't played. All right, we're going to go back to the Blue Jays here. Oh, my God. And let's just go to the elimination game. Blue Jays get a win, so they're still in. White Sox lead 2-1. Dodgers win the series 3-1, and the Mets win the series 3-1. So in the NLCS, we are getting Dodgers versus Mets, and then the Angels lead 2-1 against the Blue Jays. So let's see what happens here. Let's see who's going to the ALCS. We have our NLCS. Let's go game by game right now. Blue Jays lose. They are out. And just in case, I'm going to simulate this day as well. It is 2-2 in the Astros and White Sox series. So we are going to go to one of these teams. Let's go. Where are the Astros? Let's go to the Astros. Let's see who wins it. Game five. Houston White Sox winner goes to the ALCS and it is going to be the White Sox. The White Sox are going to make the American League Championship Series against the Angels here and the Mets versus Dodgers. This is going to be fun. I'm going to ride it out with the Angels here until they lose because the Angels haven't been in the playoffs for a long time. So this is going to be fun to see. Okay, they lose game one against the White Sox in Chicago. They lose game two in Chicago as well. Let's check out the NLCS. It is tied the NLCS. It is 1-1. Let's go back to the Angels here. Game number three at home, you have to win. And they win it. Game four, they lose it. 3-1 Chicago, 3-2 Dodgers. Okay. Let's simulate the next day. Angels are out. I don't know if the Dodgers played. They didn't. Maybe they did. It's 3-2 Dodgers over Mets. Let's go to the Dodgers. Let's go to the Dodgers. Let's see. Are they going to beat the Mets and go to the World Series to face the Chicago White Sox? Had to move my camera here so we can go game by game and you guys see it. Are we going to see a Game 7 Mets Dodgers? We are going to see a Game 7. It is Scherzer, Dustin May in Game 7. And the Dodgers beat the Mets in Game 7 of the NLCS. And they are going back to the World Series up against the Chicago White Sox. So the White Sox beat the Astros, beat the Angels to make the World Series. Dodgers beat the Giants, beat the Mets in the NLCS. And here we go. Two teams remain in the comments down below. Who's winning the World Series? Is it going to be White Sox or is it going to be the Dodgers in Game 1? We have Giolito up against Walker Bueller. It is going to be LA that wins. And this is in LA. Game two. Game two goes to the White Sox. So game three, we go back to Chicago. It is May up against Lance Lynn. And the White Sox win it. Game four, it is Bueller, Dylan Cease. White Sox win it. They are one game away from being World Series champions here. In Chicago, it is Giolito versus Urias. And the Chicago White Sox are your World Series champions for the 2022 MLB season. Can you believe it? White Sox fans, you have won the World Series. Now we're going to take a look at the awards here for the 2022 MLB season, and I'm going to go pretty quicker. There's too many awards to really go in depth every single one. World Series MVP going to be Tim Anderson for the White Sox. MVP in the American League, we have Vlad Jr., Cy Young, Otani, batting title, Vlad Jr. Reliever of the year, it is Lukic. 
Ludage? I definitely said his name wrong, and I'm a Yankee fan. I feel a little bit embarrassed about that, but it is what it is. Rookie of the Year, Spencer Torkelson, Hank Aaron Award, Otani. We have Gold Glove for the pitcher. It's Nick Pivita. Then we have Gold Glove for the catcher, Vasquez. First base, Mountcastle. Second base, Jonathan Scope. Third base, Donaldson. Shortstop, Urias. Left field, Joey Gallo. Center field is Byron Buxton. Right field, Aaron Judge. Silver slugger for the DH is going to be Rafael Devers, who got traded to the Royals. Catcher, we have Salvador Perez. First base, it is Jared Walsh. Second base, it is Marcus Semyon, Alex Bregman for third baseman. Shortstop is going to be Xander. Alfield is going to be Fran Mil Reyes, Aaron Judge. And we are going to have Cedric Mullen. Now we go to the National League here in postseason. MVP is going to go to Mookie Betts. Then we have World Series MVP. I already talked about that. MVP is Freddie Freeman, newly acquired to the Dodgers. Cy Young. Talk about a signing. Scherzer goes to the Mets. He wins Cy Young. Batting title, it is Juan Soto. Reliever of the year to Sean Doolittle. Rookie of the year is Nick Lodolo, Hank Aaron Award, it is Juan Soto. Gold Gloves now pitcher, Dakota Hudson. Catcher, JT Riamuto. First base, Jesus Aguilar. Second base, it is Jazz Chisholm. Third base, it is Brian Anderson. That is three Gold Gloves for the Marlins. Talk about a defensive team. Dansby Swanson for shortstop. O'Neal for left field. Acuna for center field. Right field, Avisel Garcia. Another Marlin. Four Gold Gloves for this team. That is insane. Then we have Silver Sluggers for the catcher. We have Will Smith. First base, Alonzo. Second base, Ozzie Albies. Third base, Nolan Arenado. Shortstop is going to be Tatis. Then for the Alpha, we have Juan Soto, Brian Reynolds, Hunter Renfro, Acuna, and Tyler O'Neill. So those are all the awards, World Series champions for the 2022 MLB season. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for the video today. The 2022 MLB season is in the books at MLB The Show 22. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you think this was accurate? Do you think the White Sox could win the World Series? And in the comments down below, let me know. Who do you think will win the World Series in the real 2022 MLB season? But if you enjoyed the video and you found it useful, do me a favor, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button if you're new. I would greatly appreciate it, and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.